Kate Middleton and Prince William are due to go on a tour of Pakistan later this month, but how are the Cambridges copying Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal success? Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are due to fly to Pakistan for an official royal visit on October 14, staying for four days. This is their first official visit to Pakistan, and according to an official statement from Buckingham Palace will focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today, a dynamic, aspirational and forward-looking nation. This trip comes just after Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry visited Southern Africa at the end of September. Harry and Meghan's visit was hailed as a success, with a royal source telling Vanity Fair, they and their aides know this tour has to be a success, and everything has been planned meticulously so there is no margin for error. The couple took the time to speak with young people at various charities, with Prince Harry echoing a visit his mother had made years earlier. One charity, in particular, was Waves for Change, a mental health initiative which helps move vulnerable children away from violence in townships by introducing them to surfing. Meghan had tea with Nasli Edros Fakir who told CNN, I think the whole gay town tour has been a relaxed thing and she's pleasantly surprised at the welcome and the niceness of the people. For William and Kate's tour of Pakistan, the official itinerary states the couple will visit programs which empower young people and organizations that help ensure they have the best possible start in life. Access to quality education, particularly to girls and young women is one of the UK's top priorities in Pakistan. The Duke and Duchess are looking forward to spending time meeting young Pakistanis, and hearing more about their aspirations for the future. These sentiments echo those of Meghan and Harry's tour of Southern Africa. Meghan and Harry met with the Justice Desk Initiative, which works to educate and empower people to combat poverty and unemployment. Meghan wore a black and white dress by Maya Miko, a sustainable fashion brand which works with local fabric markets in Malawi and gave an emotional speech to the crowd. She said, May I just say that while I am here with my husband, as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of color and as your sister. The royal visit of Africa saw Harry visit Botswana, Angola, and Malawi, and the Duke and Duchess met prominent figures such as Archbishop Desmond Tutu in South Africa. It was the first tour for their four-month-old son Archie, who in a touching moment met Archbishop Desmond Tutu. While in Pakistan, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will travel from, modern leafy capital Islamabad, to the vibrant city of Lahore, the mountainous countryside in the north, and the rugged border regions to the west. The visit will span over 1,000 kilometers, and will take in Pakistan's rich culture, its diverse communities, and its beautiful landscapes. Their royal highnesses will also spend time understanding the complex security picture in Pakistan. They will learn more about the challenges and opportunities, both of the past and today. The UK has been a key partner for Pakistan, and the Duke and Duchess will meet UK and Pakistan military personnel who are sharing expertise to improve security. As with previous overseas visits, the Duke and Duchess have asked that this tour allow them opportunities to meet as many Pakistanis as possible. Over the course of the visit, their royal highnesses will meet a wide variety of people, including children and young people, leaders from government, business and the charity sector, inspiring conservationists, and well-known cultural figures and sporting stars. This is the most complex tour undertaken by the Duke and Duchess to date, given the logistical and security considerations. Pakistan hosts one of Britain's largest overseas networks, with the British High Commission in Islamabad being one of the UK's largest diplomatic missions in the world. The UK's links with Pakistan are extensive, and their royal highnesses are looking forward to building a lasting friendship with the people of Pakistan. Details of their engagements will be released on the day due to security considerations, according to the couple's communications secretary. But the visit will span over 1,000 kilometers, including capital Islamabad, the city of Lahore, the mountainous countryside in the north and border regions to the west.